Do you know why you're here? Huh? What? I asked, do you know why you're here? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Because... because... I'm supposed to be born. Correct. I'm glad you can speak. This shows that it's not too late. But... but I don't want to. I don't want to be born. I'm sorry, but you need to know that your brain is full. It no longer has the capacity to receive new information or record new memories. But I don't want to. I don't want to be born. Your file says you are 680 years old. Is that correct? That's right, Doctor. You've come 80 years late for birth? Your file indicates you've long exceeded your brain's authorized capacity and could collapse at any moment. But I don't want to be born. It seems you don't realize the severity of your condition, my friend. You must know that you are in critical condition. You've come to the organization 80 years late and your brain could collapse at any moment. Is this what you really want? No, but you tell me, what's the use of being immortal? What good is it if can't remember your past memories? What's the use of eternal life when one is bound to forget family, friends, and everything they love and cherish? You're right, but unfortunately the brain has limitations and can't record the information and memories of a person for several hundred years. Law defines that every citizen is obliged to introduce themselves to the organization for rebirth every 600 years. I hope you were aware of this matter and know what happens if rebirth is delayed. I know, Doctor. I might go mad. It's actually worse than madness. Your brain will suffer informational collapse in case of delayed birth. It will reject any new information. And you will be stuck completely in your past. But... If all my memory is going to be erased, what's the point of this long life? You could view it as a second chance at life. Like a baby, but in the body of an adult, right? Exactly. That's why we call it birth. 